We love women of strength, especially when they're living their passion. And today I'm getting better acquainted with a ferocious army of warriors, better known as the South African women's hockey team. Our leading ladies of hockey recently formed a valuable partnership with Private Property as a new sponsor on their path to the 2016 Olympics. Simon, so, mean, Private Property is known for taking care of home, but can you tell us more about your partnership with the South African women's hockey team? Oh, it's a very exciting partnership that we've just launched. And uh, SA Women's Hockey is one of the premier women's sporting brands in the country. Uh, and Private Property really wanted to take an opportunity to get involved with a national brand like that. I mean, firstly, anything you're looking for anywhere in the country is on our website. So we thought this affiliation with uh, a national brand like SA Women's Hockey is a really great way to communicate that. But more than that, hockey is actually the second most played sport in the world and in the country it's certainly the premier women's sport. Why do you think it's so important for brands to align themselves with our women's teams? But women's sport is growing in popularity. Often when sponsors get involved like ourselves, it does come down to ratings and support uh, and the audience that the sport can pull in. And that's the great thing about SA Women's Hockey, there is a huge following for the team. You must remember a lot of these girls are not professional athletes, they have to make huge personal sacrifices to be part of our national setup, giving up time at work, spending their own money to go on tours. So it's, it's really great to be involved with the sport where there's that kind of raw energy and that raw passion behind it. And how do you hope to grow this partnership in the future? Well, this is the very first step, you know, this is the exciting uh, start of the journey for us. Uh, the team is about to go to Spain and they're about to uh, look to qualify for the Olympics through the World League, so it's going to be a very exciting tournament for them. And of course, that's the next chapter. If we can get the team into Rio 2016, that's going to be awesome, not only for the team, not only for South Africa as a whole, but uh, certainly for private property and what we want to do uh, with the South Africa. Sheldon, what's your team looking like at the moment? Um, I must say, very excited at the moment. Uh, got a nice group together. And we have a new captain, obviously, now, Nicolinta Blanche, which has uh, had quite an impact in the team. She's always been quite a feisty player um, in the nature that she plays and the way that she plays. So it's nice to see that she can bring those leadership abilities into you know, the captaincy. And other players that are also important would be uh, the likes of Shelly Russell, which has always been the quick hands in our team with the speed. But there's also quite a few younger players now to start coming through the ranks and, and slowly but surely mature in, in our team. And going forward, what are your most immediate goals? One of our biggest aims right now is also to have an outreach with all the different schools around the areas that we train with, and that's obviously to make a connection with our fans and our supporters. Um, but at the end of the day, we have also quite a lot of events and things coming up over time. Um, so in October, we will have uh, quite a bit of a stage before we leave for um, Africa Cup, which is our qualifier. And in uh, December, January, February, we have a massive stage, which will be local in South Africa, three different venues between Durban, Pretoria and Cape Town. So you've just been announced team captain. How do you feel about that? And how are you going to help your squad go for gold? No, I'm really honored about that. And um, obviously, I think you must always work out on and off the field. And yes, I will play my heart out. And I think the team as well, they always play play with their heart. So that makes my job easy to do. So I can just train and play. And what are your most immediate goals going forward? We are for two weeks now for at the training camp. And I think we're working hard, so that's positive. But we're going to the World League. So and in the World League, we want to make the semi-finals to qualify for Rio. And that's really important for us. I think for the team right now, it's all about playing together, getting our set pieces organized. We've had a bit of time away from each other. Now we get into camp. It's just about fine-tuning the little things that will make us successful. In Valencia, it's an Olympic qualifier. It's a big tournament. For us, this is it. And we know where we have to come to qualify for Olympics 2016. There is nothing like watching a team getting ready for success to help you get into the spirit, like I'm doing now. But with the right support structures and that passion that they've had for years, this team can only grow from strength to strength. Where am I going to go next? Not there! Yeah. <laughs> With a strong foundation in their team, the SA Women's Hockey Team have found a home with private property as they partner for success.